Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Cyber Money. Today we will find out how to analyze DBLP profile of any researcher. DBLP is basically an online bibliography database where uh, the works from all the researchers are you can say presented there you can compare type of um, the publication or the type of venues they are publishing. So uh, there are certain steps that you need to uh, carry out while analyzing the profile of any researcher on DBLP. Uh, the first step is to check the publication specifically if you are in the field of uh, engineering or electrical engineering or computer science you need to check the ITP transaction that, uh, that um, you can say researcher is publishing then you can check the top journals then you can check the impact factor of these journals then Q ranking and the top conferences and check the co-authors I'll analyze profile of one researcher uh, let's say I'll write Professor Dusit Niato Dusit Niato DPLP and uh, you can uh, go it either way or you can just write dplp and add the name of professor over here does it niato so this is the pro researcher i'm searching for uh, you can check out its affiliation and then uh, this will show all the journal works and all the conference work that he has all already published so uh, first of all uh, is top journal work is IEEE transaction wireless communication so he has published 36 article in this transaction so it is one of the top ranked transaction in the field of communication then he is publishing in IEEE transaction nuclear technology IEEE general selected, selected areas in communication so these are the top works of this, uh, this uh, researcher uh, so uh, you can even check the impact factor and publisher of these journals uh, you can say the his top journals or the Q ranking let's say if I want to check the Q ranking of IEEE transaction, transaction wireless communication I'll just write IEEE transactions on wireless communications and then I'll write Q uh, first I'll check the impact factor just write this name and I'll open it up in the meantime I'll also write Q ranking so IEEE transaction wireless communication has 6.3 impact factor that is pretty good impact factor and then similarly I'll open the Q ranking for this journal so the Q ranking is uh, Q1 rank so it is one of the top ranked uh, transaction of IEEE for communication the next you uh, you can analyze his top conferences so he's regularly publishing IEEE ICC and Globecom IEEE ICC and Globecom are the top flagship conferences in the field of communication um, so um, you can even check the core ranking of these works you can check the Q ranking of these works so it it depends so the, uh, so this uh, this is the third step and the fourth step is you need to check the co-authors of this uh, this researcher so his top co-author is Ping Wang. Uh, he has 282 articles with this uh, researcher and then Zuha and then um, other art, um, you can say researchers. You can even check their profile. Let's say if I want to open the profile of Ping Wang, I'll just uh, copy this up and put it in DBLP and I'll open this profile. You can check out the affiliation of uh, this researcher york university canada and then you can check out their top uh, publication like icc transaction wireless communication globecom in this way you can analyze whether a researcher is good or is doing some very good work extraordinary work or he's only doing average work and then you can find out whether you should be uh, doing collaboration with these researcher or you uh, you want to apply under the supervision for masters by research or phd so that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel bye bye